we see uh, a lot of monuments that are set up by previous generations. And one of the things they hope as they set up these monuments is that we will remember. And unfortunately, we live in a society today, in the Western world anyway, that, uh, that doesn't remember, that has no regard for history, and as a result, has no context with which to view what is taking place in the world around them. They basically just, uh, if anybody, uh, if, if they are interested at all in what's happening, they might turn on the news. Well, the news tells you what's ha what happened today or what happened yesterday. But you need to combine the news with history to really have context. And if you want even greater context, you need to combine history, news, with prophecy so that you get the whole picture and you can really understand what's going on. But as I mentioned, monuments are put up so that future generations will remember. And unfortunately, we have no context with which to view what is happening today with Islam and Christianity. And it's not new. This has been going on for 1400 years. And if we only looked into the history books and looked at what happened uh, for the past 1400 years on every continent, then we would have some context with which to view some of the conflicts that we're seeing today in the Western world, and especially in North America, which is new to us, but it's not new to the world. And unfortunately, we have no, no context with which to view this. Uh, this week, there was another terrorist attack in New York, and uh, eight people lost their lives. Others were injured, even children uh, were, were, uh, were um, targeted. And what we're told, this happened on Halloween, uh, which is a festival for the devil. Uh, no coincidence that uh, we see human sacrifice on one of Satan's high holy days. But what we're told is uh, we're telling the children, go out and trick or treat. I think the mayor or the governor said, you know, you can't let them win. But this is absolutely ludicrous. So when we're attacked, we mustn't, we mustn't retaliate, we mustn't say anything, we mustn't criticize Islam in any way. We just have to go shopping, go trick-or-treating, otherwise we let them win. Meanwhile, they are mowing us down, they are killing us, and uh, we don't know what's happening. What we should be doing, as I said earlier, is looking into history, looking into the ideology, and really understanding this threat that we're facing. And th that's what our leaders should be doing. Unfortunately, they seem to be uh, in collusion uh, with Islam, and uh, we need to really honestly take a look at the scriptures, at the ideology that's behind Islam and see, is it really friendly? Is it something that's going to be beneficial to the West? Or when we look at it in its historical context and we look at the ideology, is this something that we should be concerned about? So join me on December 6th, 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern Time, as uh, I engage in an interfaith dialogue with a Muslim apologist and we try to get to the heart of, you know, what does the Quran teach and what does the Bible teach and should we be concerned?